I do not like this at all. This feels cheap. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is kind of a compilation. No, it's not a compilation. I don't, I got my hair cut. If you guys didn't see on Instagram, girl, let's just get this out of the way, all right? So I cut about five inches off and here's the deal. My hair, I've gone through hair loss the past couple years, medication, stress, a lot of things to contribute to that. And so it would just grew out very, I have my tank top on backwards. So there's that. You know, some days just not much works out. <laughs> so pff, let's do this. There we go. There we go. It's an old tank top, doesn't matter. Anyway, you could literally see through my hair. So it was time. I wanted to grow it out to where actually all of the regrowth that had come in was about this length and it was time. So here we are all back to my natural fullness and I'm gonna grow it out from here, but I'm loving it. It's just a one length kind of 90s bob. I have more details on my Instagram. You can follow me at I'm Mallory Brooke if you like to see that. But um, yeah, hairstyling videos coming up. But right now I'm just trying to get used to it because I just got it cut a couple days ago. But today is going to be full of first impressions. I have been out of town. I've gotten some really interesting PR and I thought this would be fun to try some new products today. Um, not a full face of new products, but some really interesting products. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip my hair back here. Okay, so the very first product is not gonna be, well, it's gonna be kind of like a first impressions. I got this in the mail and was so excited to try it that I tried it and wore it for like a few hours. So this is more of like a real, kind of testing out time for it. It is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. And when I first used this the first time, um, the first and for, hmm. When I used this for the very first time, just really quickly, I loved it and was like, oh, this is what the hype's about. So I'm gonna grab my mirror. I have the shade 41 here and I would say that this is light to build up medium coverage. I don't use it with a primer. Um, so just so you know, I just have my skincare on my skin. I'm gonna use about this much. And since I am a little like, I use, um, what you call it, gradual lotion, tanner. So this shade does match me, but normally if I had no self tan on or anything, this would be a little too dark. But this goes on, let me just say, okay, so I have dry, sensitive, like irritable, breakout prone skin. And after wearing this once, I loved it. I loved the way it made my skin look and everything about it. So I like the way that it goes on. It immediately looks good. It looked good for the few hours that I did wear it. The other night literally looks like your skin on top of skin. It is one of those products that is just so freaking beautiful and it doesn't pick up on my dryness it doesn't make my pores look large it covers just enough but if i want fuller coverage in some areas i can get that with this so that's really nice this shade might be like a little bit too dark but here's the thing and bring it on my neck but also once i apply like the lighter stuff on my face it blends pretty well but it is gorgeous immediately on the skin. It's so glowy. Let me zoom you in. I mean, check this out. Isn't this stunning? It really looks so, 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 so nice on the skin. I put way too much on there, on my hand. But anyway, I love this. I don't know, the hype is real, let me tell you. It is super hydrating. I don't know, what else, it says some yeah, medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. There we have it, girl. I think my face is a little too dark. You know, I don't want to really bronze up because since this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contour. No, I should use a bronzer because then it'll look too muddy. I'm going to use, I'm obsessed with this. This is not a first impressions. This is the M Cosmetics So Soft Bronzer in Summer. And I'm just gonna, boom. That's all I'm gonna do. And I've been liking bronzer like on the tip of my nose to really look like I got some sun. 
But this, you have so much work time and girl, it is beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. The world seems to be getting scary. Err. It's always scary, but it's scarier. I mean, at least it matches my arms. It may not match my neck, but whatever. So I'm just trying to stay positive over here, you know? Keep everything balanced, juggle everything as much as possible. Get things done while trying not to get depressed, you know? Now I am going to go ahead and apply blush, but this is something new. I'm really excited. So I don't know if you guys have seen, I fall for Instagram ads all the time. Jones Road does incredible Instagram ads. It caught my eye and I, I even asked on stories, should I try the brand? And a lot of you said yes. And then they saw my story. So they sent me a little care package. So I'm gonna use what I see all the time on their Instagram ads. This is the Miracle Balm. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. You can use this on bare skin to like liven up your skin or you can use it as a blush. You can use it on your eyes. This is the shade Eau Naturale and this is Dusty Rose. So that's the diff there. Today I think, ooh, I kind of want to use Eau Naturale. Let's see, it says break up the balm with your fingers and you can also use this as a highlight. Maybe that's what I'll do. So that's Eau Naturale. And then we have Dusty Rose. I don't know. Ooh, Eau Naturale is kind of like, I feel like you can see the tint more the more it sits. I'm gonna use Eau Naturale on my cheeks here. As like a highlight. It smells really good. Ooh, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that Dusty Rose on my lips. Oh, that is nice. I love a multi-use product and a product that's just like gonna make you want to use it all the time. And I think this might be one of those. Ooh. Oh, look at that glow. Oh my God. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, this is nice. And you know what? It's not breaking up my foundation or anything. Okay, these are nice. I really, ooh. You know what I'll do on stories tomorrow is try these on bare skin. Cause I saw a lot of women use it and just like apply it to their face really nice oh my god beautiful okay to lighten up my face i'm going to use the m cosmetics baby the so soft blush in baby i feel like i need something lighter than like a normal tan and this is like so cute i feel like it's like a really nice summery pink oh that's applying nicely over that jones road oh i like I like, I like, I like. Don't I just look like I just came from the pool or something? Oh, girl, I'm feeling young and cute and hip. All right, all right, Jones Road, that is gorgeous. And I am layering stuff over. All right, I'm gonna quickly do my concealer. No, you guys wanna see it. I feel like when I skip those steps, it feels, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go with, ooh, what concealer do I wanna use today? It's on my desk. And I've been using it lately. I've really enjoyed it with the hot weather. The Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. And this will really kind of brighten the center of the face because this foundation's a little dark. But this is such a thin, nice, fluidy concealer. It's got like medium-ish coverage. And a little loose, translucent powder. I also like to do that on top of my lids too. You know, I say a little girl, I got another, I got another video to film and I have a dinner tonight. I need to bake. I've been loving to set the drier areas of my face with the new Laura Mercier Celestial Light powder. And I take their powder brush and grab a little and I just kind of, I just sweep it like over my forehead, sweep it on my chin, you know, like this area around my mouth since I'm just, you know, we gotta wear our masks. <laughs> Things are getting crazy again, doesn't matter. So I just kind of like to sweep this everywhere to give myself like that extra security of setting my foundation and stuff, but it's still really super nice and glowy. This is gorgeous. I like Celestial Light for my skin tone 
They have um, other shades. I will link this below. Lifesaver for dry skin and you need us to set all over and not mattify. For eyebrows, nothing new here. Hourglass Arch Brow in Platinum Blonde and then my M Cosmetics Flexi Brow and Clear. I love this combo. It is just it for me. This is the Just A Sec eyeshadow in Linen from Jones Road. I really just like their packaging. It's so simple. I love the font. I love that it's just like, I don't know. It's just like cool, you know? But anyway, this is supposed to just be a really nice kind of cream eyeshadow. And I have another eyeshadow that I want to use. So I'm just going to pop this on. Ooh. Oh, you know what this feels like immediately? Chanel Illusion to Oms when they used to be nice. So I'm gonna take this on my inner corner. Oh, okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Feel like shimmer. This does, it feels like the Illusion to Om going on and as I blend it out with my finger, it's drying down pretty much immediately and blending out really, really nicely. I'm gonna put that there. And then on my brow bone, call me old school, but I do still love a good brow bone highlight. I know it's not gonna crease either because if you guys could feel this through the screen, it dries down as you blend it out with your finger and to the touch, it's like very cushiony. I'm not gonna build this up too much because I'm gonna go in with another shimmer eyeshadow. Oh, but look at that. Like you could like put mascara on and go with that kind of like glow and the way that blended out. I'm gonna do what I used to do and I'm gonna tilt my head back and then just apply this upward in upward motions. This kind of helps open my eyes since I'm, I have hooded lids. And I used to do this all the time. I don't really anymore. I don't really take the time to do eyeshadow looks anymore. I need to. Now this sucker immediately, like this is linen. Look how pretty that is. But then you have, this is their Just A Sec eyeshadow, or sorry, that was Just A Sec. This is their Sparkle Wash and this is in the shade Midas, it's like a really beautiful champagne with gold. And uh, we're gonna apply this to the actual lid here. I didn't really put it in a proper swatch place because I thought I was gonna put it directly to my eyelid. Anyway, and it says that you can build up the shimmer and it doesn't get, what you call it, um, like chunky, it's not gonna flake off. Oh, that almost looks like, that almost looks like a, uh, lid gloss yeah that's nice it's not sheer like the kosis eyeshadows but you can de i can definitely see where you can build this up oh 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 that's gorgeous and i have enough on my hand to do the other eye oh i feel like this is going to be in my regular shimmer rotation i can tell you that much this looks like a lid gloss and I hope it doesn't dry down to where it doesn't sometimes liquid glitter shadows can dry down and then just look like a shimmery eyeshadow I hope this stays like this um okay glossy lids I'm gonna let that dry down and then I'm gonna try a new mascara we're going to try the new rare beauty mascara this is supposed to be like super volumizing and lengthening and supposed to be very lightweight so i'm very excited but look at this packaging it's a really chunky tube and then you have the rare beauty symbol there i love the matte feeling of this tube i have not looked at the brush yet Ooh. okay it doesn't look like anything crazy it is a little bit longer than your normal mascara spoolie so i'm gonna curl my lashes and then get on this but i feel like that uh eyeshadow by the way didn't dry down to like just a shimmery shadow i feel like it stayed looking pretty dang glossy and also just so you know it did not come off on my uh, eyelash curler so that shadow is transfer proof all right let's give this a go it doesn't smell weird sometimes mascaras can be really strong oh this is like a fatter type of spoolie. Oh, okay. I would say it's not like a wet formula. It's almost moussey. Oh, hello. Oh, that's really pretty. I feel like it's also helping my eyelashes hold their curl. <gasps> Look at this. 
Oh boy, let's zoom in on that. Hello, length. Now let's see if we can build up some volume. Brands will just put mascaras out and they're nothing special. But I've seen the promos for this mascara and I'm like, ooh, they're really acting like this is something. So I was really excited to try it. I feel like it's super black. It's really moussey. Some mascaras I feel like you need to wait between coats and then some you need to like hurry up. So I wonder which one this is. We'll put another coat on here. The biggest deal, and I'll let you guys know in the comments, like after the day goes on, it for me with hooded lids, it's gonna smudge and flake. It says it's smudge proof, it says it's flake proof. So we'll see on my hooded lids. I feel like Selena Gomez has um, somewhat hooded lids, so I feel like she would create a mascara that wouldn't smudge. That's, that's really nice. I feel like it separates enough, but you can still get some volume. And my lashes grow in wonky because of my meds. So if a mascara can make my eyelashes look decent, I'm about it. Okay. I feel like because it's so bright and shimmery on top, I'm not gonna apply any mascara to the bottom for now, but I'll let you know if it smudges too in the comments or in the info box actually. But look, that's just too light light coats and I feel like this mascara is really doing something so that's nice ha huh. okay I mean listen I've been using the same mascara for years the hourglass art arch brow that's my eyebrow pencil the hourglass caution mascara and now I'm on the M cosmetics pick me up mascara I love those two I like don't stray from them so if this can make my eyelashes look that who knows girl who knows okay let's move on to the last cheek item and i do want to apply the uh, highlight over the miracle bomb or is it the miracle bomb yeah miracle bomb but look that glow is still it's still there i want to try the ilia daylight highlighting powder in decades this looks so pretty it looks like a really pretty kind of universal shade for highlight oh Wow. Oh, wowzes. Oh, we're really going for like a glow today. You know, powder highlights again are another kind of hit or miss product. Sometimes they can look really dry. This looks very moisturizing. I know I have the Miracle Balm on, but looks nice. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like that. And I feel like too, the shimmers aren't too big, but they're not too small. So it does look like pretty makeup, you know? It's not too natural, but it's definitely not too, girl, you got glitter on your face. And it's like the perfect shade of champagne. It's not too gold. It's not too cool undertone. So you're not looking ashy, like a swipe of ash there. I'm really guilty of being lazy with my highlight and going like this and then like being like, oh, I'm done. And you gotta kind of, the more you blend, the more the the uh, glow comes out, the, the the like the shimmers in there. Okay, now on to lips. I'm gonna take my clips out. I think I forgot to like straighten this one section because it is frizzing. On to lips. Urban Decay released their new Vice lipsticks. It's a new formula. It's a vegan. I picked out the shade Liar because it's a nude. What's new? Nothing much. Okay, since we couldn't find anything new and exciting, we're gonna go with Old Faithful Max Strip Down. Okay, let's see about this new formula. I haven't even tried a different shade. This is a matte. I thought, no, it's cream. <laughs> it's a cream. I will say this. I like how pointed the actual bullet is. You can really get some nice precision there. The thing I love about Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks is they're shaped to apply. Like the bullet is actually user friendly. It's meant to be applied to the contours of the lips and you know, that kind of thing. So I appreciate a well thought out uh, lipstick bullet. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I don't think I even tried in the old Vice lipsticks, um, the shade Liar, but that's really, that's really pretty. Kind of hate to try the lip gloss over it, but I feel like I have to. This is the new lip gloss from them too. This is uh, Runyon, I guess like Runyon Canyon. I don't know, but it's like a really beautiful 
just nude, no shimmer. Okay, the paddle feels a little flimsy. I don't like it. I immediately don't like it. The gloss is pretty. This feels like I'm using a tester applicator. I do not like this at all. This feels cheap. Not the formula, but just the paddle. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, look at this. Can you see? It's like really thin and white, and it looks like it, it is shaped really nicely to apply to the lips, but it's a little minty. Okay, it's a little minty. I don't like it. It feels like it's gonna, watch, here, get, okay, look, look close. I'm barely putting any pressure, and it really, I mean, it moves back and forth a lot. It's like a, it feels like a tester applicator that you'd get at Sephora. I like the, the actual, the actual gloss. So there's that. That's a really pretty combo actually. And let me tell you, I only got sent a few shades and I was like, how am I gonna do this combo? This looks pretty pinky, but Runyon and Liar, really nice together. I still have that foundation. I'm, let me use my beauty blender real quick. I liked every single thing that I used. I really like this look. I love how shimmery and glowy the entire look is. I feel pretty. I liked everything except for the Urban Decay lip gloss paddle. I don't know, it just doesn't feel sturdy enough to me to say that I liked the product overall. Everything else though, this, is this how, is that how you say it, Ilia? This is actually the first product I've ever tried from the brand. And then the Jones Road Miracle Bombs, definitely, definitely recommend. It is glowing through my foundation and it's super soothing. I love this, just highly recommend. The eyes, the eyes, the mascara, oh my God. I'll let you guys know, like I said, in the info box, if the mascara ends up smudging, but I'm obsessed in the eyeshadows from Jones Road. Okay, if you, okay, I like to do, break it down. If you get three, if you get three things, highly recommend if you have dry skin, try the Urban Decay, the Hydro Maniac Tinted Moisturizer, the Jones Road Eau Natural Miracle Balm. I have to say four. And the Jones Road, the Sparkle Wash, the Rare Beauty Mascara. First impressions, definitely pick this up if you were looking for a new mascara to try. So let me know if you're gonna try any of, the, any of these products below <laughs> because I am loving all of them. I'm in the process of really big changes right now. So I'm just trying to keep about two videos up a week, two videos a week up, and um, to get through this transition, which I'm super excited to share with you guys coming up. So, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Mallory Brooke. I will keep you guys updated there more often. So if you don't see me on YouTube, I am on Twitter and Instagram, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will have everything I talked about in the info. Oh, also a little update. I'm getting my braces off next month, so. <laughs> Lots of exciting things happening over here. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. All right.